So, on my most recent video, I talked about quitting my job and going pro. I actually had a lot of pretty cool replies on that video, so I figured I'm just gonna give it a go. I'm gonna pack my bags, I'm gonna fly out to Girona, full professional style training camp. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Spain, welcome to Barcelona and please remain seated until the fast and seatbelt signs have been switched off. Remember only the echo in advance and take your personal belongings from the open bins and the seat pockets. And also be careful again opening these bins and retrieving your belongings. On behalf of the entire team on board, I would like to thank you for flying and choosing Canada Royal Dutch Airlines. Help you enjoy your flight. Yeah, Yo, check out this view, have, man. This is pretty awesome. What's up guys? What's up cycling? Fanatics! Fanatics! I'm out here in Girona, Spain on a four day training camp. I'm gonna prepare for my racing season which is gonna start next week. In this video I'm gonna take you along and show you how I optimize training, nutrition and sleep and recovery. Right now it's Saturday. I arrived on uh, Wednesday. I just completed my last training and I can tell you it was a really really good week we've done uh, some really good training sessions and I really have the idea that uh, yeah this is pretty cool training like a pro really training like a pro don't have to worry about anything else than training and food and uh, just do it so the week started off on Wednesday I flew uh, from Amsterdam to Barcelona and then got the rental car to drive out to Girona because Leon, my trainer, he lives in Girona. We always talk on the phone, plan my training and uh, analyzing the past weeks and then putting in a new schedule. And then he said, it would be really cool if you just come to Girona and, uh, and uh, come to train here. And we are optimizing the most important things for training, which are the actual training you do, the nutrition and the recovery. How I'm gonna do that, I will tell you exactly in this video. The bike I'm riding is a Basso bike the bike that's standing right there. Leon provided the bike for me. It's got a power meter in there, so I didn't have to take the bike. I didn't have to take any other equipment than my cycling kit. Leon sent me a program through the email just before I got here. Detailed description of every day, uh, what we're gonna do in terms of training and in terms of nutrition. Uh, we adjusted the amount of carbohydrates to the training that I was doing on that day and on the next day. I will explain every day what I did in terms of pre, during and post training and the amount of carbs I was eating and why. This video is gonna be a little bit different than my other videos. I think it's gonna give you a little bit more perspective of the whole story and uh, I hope it all makes sense. There will be separate videos of my actual training sessions that I'm gonna be posting after this. While you're at it guys, check it out. I've got the first Cycling Fanatics t-shirt. This is the t-shirt that the Vandal is uh, making for us. So if you have ordered the t-shirt, this is how it's gonna look like. And the cycling jerseys and bibs, the order is out to Castelli right now. So they're uh, gonna get busy to produce all those awesome jerseys. I just wanna thank all of you guys for the amazing response. I had so many cool replies. So I'm really happy, I think it's awesome. And uh, for now, just enjoy this video. Here we go. Day two. Good morning. It's uh, day, it's day two. It feels like day one. Day two here in uh, Girona. Yesterday was a travel day, so I uh, took a flight from Amsterdam to Barcelona, then grabbed the rental car and drove out to Girona. After arriving, I checked into the apartment that uh, Leon arranged for me, and I picked up the bike, checked the routings, and then just went for a little ride. It was an easy ride with a couple sprints. Today is a big day today. Uh, we're gonna do a long training with pretty hard intervals. First thing I wanna do is uh, get some food in. So I'm gonna prepare exactly 150 grams of carbohydrates. Why? I will tell you later. Does that look tasty or what? I 
I'm eating oatmeal with uh, some sultanas and I'm adding a banana because I really like bananas which should be about 150 grams of carbs that's my pre-workout meal of today by the way I am not at all in a rush to get out uh, because because outside it's like one big blanket of mist uh, it really does not look very attractive to go riding my bike right now the weather forecast of today right now it's still freezing literally freezing Today it's gonna get up to 17 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna have to ride for five hours today. Let's say 12 o'clock until five o'clock is the best time. I'm probably gonna wait until about 12 o'clock. That's why I'm eating now. So I have at least like two to three hours before I start my training. I will show you what I'm gonna do today. It's a quarter to nine right now. I've got my uh, oatmeal. It's a pretty big bowl of oatmeal. Some coffee. Mm. I'm looking at the, the, the ride of today, the plan. Today is going to be 125 kilometers with over 1800 meters of elevation. Uh, Leon has routed the whole ride, so I don't have to prepare anything else. It's just going to do whatever he uh, put in the plan. There's going to be two big climbs. So on these climbs, we're going to do a couple of VO2 max efforts, and the rest is going to be uh, easy zone two. Total ride time will be probably about five hours. So I'm gonna take this time during my breakfast just to go through the comments on uh, on YouTube, scroll through my uh, my Instagram. I'm not super scheduled with all that stuff. I just do whatever I whenever I can, and I tr always try to reply on everybody. So I do want to give a big shout out to what, to some of my new patrons. They have join my patreon page and they're gonna be having some getting some tips tricks and uh, some personal contact with me so a shout out to Tobias Edenius Michael Williams Daniel Davies and Stacy Barba Bar Barbadillo Bar hey and Stacy Barbadillo thanks guys uh, I'll chat and talk to you soon on patreon All right, I am uh, going to meet up with Leon to talk about the training of the couple days I'm here. Hey, I feel the count. Who is it? Yeah, mooi. Ik kijk maar even hoe het gaat. Ik moet even terugschakelen en rustig fietsen. Later. Hey man, I like your bike. Yeah. <laughs> what is it for Pete? It's a city bike. Nobody <laughs> bikes here in Tirol on a city bike. Everybody no? goes by car, so it's well, a Dutch uh, influence. This is the Dutch influence here in Girona. Uh, I'm gonna get ready for some training right now. We talked a little bit about the training of last of the last two weeks and what's coming up for these days here in uh, Girona. Just a random view here, by the way. Whoop. I'm gonna get back to the apartment and uh, explain to you guys a little bit about food planning during the training, after the training, etc. Uh, like I said, we're doing something with food. So what is it exactly? Well, we are adjusting the amount of uh, carbs I'm eating before, during and after the training to the training that I'm doing the day and the next day and the previous day. So three days of training and uh, today is going to be a hard day, so we have a high carbohydrate intake before, during and right after the training. And then at night it's going to be a low carb meal because tomorrow I have a slow endurance training. I'll explain a little bit more along the, the video what this exactly does, but now you know. So Leon has pre prepared this for me. This is what I'm going to eat today during my five hours of riding. And then right after the training we're going to have another high carb meal for uh, recovery. Right now it's time to go. The weather is turning really nice. The temperature is rising. Since this whole little trip here is gonna be sort of my pro cycling training camp, uh, I'm not gonna take the vlogging camera along the whole ride and uh, talking a lot to the camera because it takes away, takes away a little bit of efficiency for my training. So what I'm gonna do is take the chest mount like I've been doing in my recent videos and I'm gonna still record my training but in a little bit different way so if you want to know what kind of training am i exactly doing you should check those videos because i'll do four videos of four training sessions 
here in Girona. The rest is gonna be covered in this video. Time to go. Six hours later. <sighs> okay. Ugh. Just got back. Pretty hard, uh, hard training today. Pretty tough. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, get a recovery shake to have some fast carbs. And then uh, I'll show you my sort of post ride meal. During training, I ate a whole lot of energy bars. I saved all the packages, uh, not throwing those into uh, mother nature. So that was around 300 grams of carbohydrates. So that's about 60 every hour. And then after training, for at least the first two hours, I need to do 200 grams of carbohydrates. Part of that will be in this uh, recovery shake. And then I'm gonna eat some, uh, some muesli with dried banana, which will add up to about 200 grams. All right now it's five o'clock. This is my post training meal. Tonight I'm gonna have a meal that's actually very low on carbohydrates. And that has everything to do with the training of tomorrow. So right now we wanna we want try and get optimum recovery, fill up the glycogen levels uh, short term after the training and tomorrow we're gonna do a slow and steady zone 2 workout which um, we're gonna try and uh, be sort of low on carbs sort of optimize the fat burn for the training so that's what we're doing uh, Leon also specified the amount of um, protein I need to eat today which is 150 grams and most of it will be after training and during the night and the recovery shake will be uh, a nice amount of protein and then tonight I'm gonna eat a very big piece of uh, chicken or salmon I don't know I'm gonna go shopping which will also be good for the recovery during the night it's time to get a shower and then I'm gonna get started on the muesli check it out cycling Hey, if you want to buy a t-shirt, they're still available. The jerseys are not available anymore at the moment. Pre-sales over, but t-shirts? Hell yeah. Go check them out. The website of uh, the Vandal. Right now, I'm going to get these carbs in. Uh, about this much. And half of this container of dried banana. this much let me show you the view now it's all cleared up because this morning was pretty crap but right now it's really nice check it out nice hoi schatje fijne valentine hoe is het met onze baby hey baby ik ben net wakker oh je kan dan weer lachen ben je een beetje lief van mama Quick uh, video call with uh, the baby and uh, Daisy while I'm eating the muesli. It's really good. Today's Valentine's Day. I'm not even at home. I'll make it up. But I can tell you this, Daisy is fantastic. She's really, really supporting me a lot. So, awesome. 8.01 p.m. So, dinner time. Like I said, dinner is gonna be low carb, high protein. Because I still need to get a lot of protein in today. I'm joined by uh, another Jasper, Jasper Okkeloen. Check him out, yo! He's sleeping right above me. He's also training here in Girona. And I know him a little bit, so we're just hanging out, having some dinner together, talking about racing and training, pretty much. On the menu is uh, veggies with bell peppers. We've got a big piece of salmon, and we've got some pasta in here. Uh, of course, the pasta is gonna be only a small portion. Because pasta is a lot of carbs, and like I said, I'm gonna be low on carbs tonight. That's our climb board chip. Okay, so this is the food I'm gonna eat. This might be the smallest dinner I've ever had after a big training, but I guess it's for a good cause. At least I'm gonna get a lot of protein from the fish and some veggies, which is uh, always healthy, I guess. 
It's looking good. I can't wait. To yeah, but I don't want you eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Only a small difference. I think you have twice as much pasta. And you're gonna get, go for seconds, what you already said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jealous at his plate. I still feel a little bit hungry. Tomorrow, Leon's gonna join me for the ride, or at least the first part, he said. So I was probably gonna start around 10 o'clock. It's gonna be cold tomorrow morning at 10. It's getting close uh, to, to bedtime, actually. So I'll talk a little bit more about sleep tomorrow. That's it for today. See ya. <sighs> totally bonked. Super hard after three and a half hours. <sighs> I have nothing left. Right now, first thing I'm gonna do is smash in the, those carbs. Uh, I'm gonna eat a lot for the rest of the day because tomorrow is gonna be more intense training.